Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, this is this Mr. O once again. Yeah, I want. You know, I know my last video on with Dom Dom Rasso, whatever the name it, that fool name is. I did the Caucasian inferior races, and up for the NRA for the Neanderthal uh, recessive apes. Um, I'm gonna do a part two. Con I'm doing a, this is a part two conclusion to that, and I'm I'm sorry I left this one out. If Don Rasso think it's about honor when it comes down to America and all that stuff, because we know he talking out of both sides of his neck and talking out his ass too. Well, why don't he go ahead and he talk to some of the black black um, brothers and sisters who are enlisted and who are veterans, and particularly like here on YouTube. Why don't he answer people like One LVZ, General Africa, Mister Superboy Two Two Three. Um, brother, brother Mike, brother Mike Ramadan, Prince GMO. I can go on and on. They served, and they stand behind what Kaepernick is doing. See, the problem with with you, Don Rasso, you makes me sick. You, Dana Lash, Coleon, Cunion Luar, and the rest of you, you. Um, NRA idiots, aka the Ku Klux Klan, aka the biggest sponsor and supporter for white nationalism across across the board, is that you don't even want to discuss the issues. All y'all care about is you and your damn damn guns. But then again, typical white male, uh, so-called white male of uh, fragility, because you thinking. Because, see, you figure like, oh, this is America, America, great, this and that. But the problem with you is, like, y'all always holding on to symbols and all this stuff. Talking about disrespecting the flag and all that. How you, it's not even a flag. Military don't own the flag. It's a star span, it's a banner, star spangled banner. And a banner represents only a corporation, which is the United States. Okay? When you talk about saying that you serve... But yet, though, I see some of y'all still getting out there and try to use Pat Tillman, may he may he rise in power, as an excuse. Pat Tillman, former DB for the um the late Pat Tillman, who played DB for the Arizona Cardinals, he went and served after 9-11 because he wanted to do, he felt was his duty-bound honor as a true American to... um. To, to fight and hunt down the people responsible. Although, you know, I don't want to get all into it because let's just face it, we know 9 11 is an inside job. Let's just stop the bullshit. But when Tillman went over there and they found out that we ain't doing nothing but being pawns and guarding some damn opium fields so therefore they could transfer that, he was going to go ahead and have a discharge and just protest about it. But what happened? They killed them. No, not the people he was supposed to hunt, which is supposed to be the Taliban, which is not. They found him dead with three 5.56 by 45 in his forehead, saying it was, quote unquote, friendly fire. There ain't that much friendly fire in the world just to hit you in the head, in the forehead. But then, you know, you figure that you doing this and all that because you was a former veteran U.S. Navy SEAL. And like I said before, when I said what I said, that those titles like that don't impress me. Former Navy SEAL, former Green Beret, former Army Ranger. Now, to the ones that are Navy SEALs and, and all that, the real ones, you keep it 100 this ain't no no knock on y'all. You know, you know you not like this jackass. Okay, I'm not referring to y'all. Because like I said, I have family that served in the military. My oldest brother happened to be a Desert Storm vet. Okay, I still got friends of mine that are still enlisted in the military. And even when they get back over here, they still look at them and treat them like shit. Especially when they want to go ahead and try to get help or, uh, you know, at the VA hospital and all that. Don Rasso, if you're supposed to be so damn concerned about honor, okay, why don't you honor some of the vet veterans who fought in World War II 
or World War One or Vietnam War that's that's out here living in the streets that's homeless. When was the last time that you sat down with a with a, a military vet that's homeless and you sat down with them and talked? When was the last time that you took them out to eat? Bought bought them a dinner or something. I don't give a rat's ass if it was a if it was a whopper combo at Burger King. The point of the matter is the thought that counts. And all you fuck fuckers could get out here and talk about is, is oh, you, you want to make it young trying to make it about the NFL because you want to follow the great jack o' lantern, Sam Hain himself, to make it a beef with NFL players that you got a problem. You basically saying you got a problem with with quote unquote in your words subconsciously speaking to you subconsciously, how dare these niggers get out here? They making millions of dollars just to play ball. They make millions of dollars to entertain us, and they want to take a knee disrespecting the flag. That's what the fuck it's about. And subconsciously, that's what it's speaking to you. Okay, but yet though the the organization that you represent. That gang of thugs known as the NRA, you know, you had share a uh, former share of David Coon Clark as your spokesperson. Now y'all went and got another token nigga in Co in Cunio Noir. I know a lot about him. I've been watching him for the past seven years. You know, so Donald Rasco. Motherfucker, before you even shut your mouth, I guarantee you, some of them brothers, the brothers I just mentioned, who get out here and do it all the time, they put the YouTube videos out here, or or Benny had put the true information out here. Don't brothers serve too? Now I'm not finna get out here and repeat their name again just for your interest, because that's a definite confidentiality. To be honest with you. But I'm done with that though. But you know, shout out to to um anyway, anyway I'm gonna just say it. shout out to one LVZ, shout out to General Africa, shout out to Mr. Superboy two two three, and some of the other the YouTube warriors who do like who get out here and they put they put it all on the line every time and all that the the battle of speak out against um the cephalopod known as uh, white supremacy, which I call uh, which I call Caucasian inferior racism. You know, white inferior racism, as you call it, because like I say, with the term white supremacy, white is not a nationality nor a race, and there's nothing supreme about them. Just like I don't like, I don't use the term pro-black or conspiracy theorists, because guess what? The FBI came up with that shit. The FBI and the CIA came up with that to circumvent and deflect and distract. Just like they came up with pro-black. But and a lot of our people, y'all, y'all tend to cling on that. So I advise anybody, all y'all that's in the so in the conscious community, in or out of it, don't use that term pro-black. Because we didn't come up with that word, they did. That term they did. Again, they use that to deflect and distract, just like they did with conspiracy theories. Shoot. How can you conspire against a theory? And how can you be pro how can you be pro for a crayon? I'm just saying. But anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and include that. And just give a shout out to my brothers in arms and stuff like that. And to call out these patriots like Don Rasso and the rest of them clowns over there in the NRA and who basically support their little, they basically undercover white nationalists anyway. So, but that said, I'm out. I ain't going to do long on this video. Y'all check it out on there. Y'all subscribe, share, click the notification bell. So when I upload new videos, y'all get them. Also, you can check me out over there. I'm on Black Spot and I'm on Black Junction. Um, fuck Fed Book. I no longer post videos on there. I said that months, uh, weeks ago. 
So if anybody want to catch me, catch me over there. Those two social networking platforms. It's about time we need to support our own shit. You know, I'll leave everything in the description box. With that said, the narrator's out. No more talk.